Hi, today I'm going to show you how you can easily add additional fields to any screen with Acumatica using their customization manager form or tool and their visual form designer. Now, here I'm in the sales order screen and I want to add an additional date field that I'm going to position here underneath this description. You start this process by clicking on the customization button. Now, it should be noted that you're only going to be giving rights to do this to certain key people in your organization. You don't want anybody going in here and changing the forms, so this will be relatively locked down to a certain group of people who can do this company-wide. But by clicking on here, what you first do is an edit project. This allows us to give a project name to the customization and to be able to manage this customization a little bit better. So, I'm going to create a new project. I'm just going to call it Date. Click OK. And at this point, it opens up a customization project window. See? And it references an Add Screen button here, where I can say Customize Existing Screen. This allows me to select from anywhere in the Acumatica sitemap the screen that I want to customize. I'm going into just Distribution, Sales Order, Work Area, Enter, and clicking on the Sales Order screen because that's the one I want to make the change to. Once I've done that, it'll load the screen, it'll load the form information that can be expanded, and these are the columns of data that appear on the form now. And it's going to allow me to indicate where I want to put this new field and rearrange things as I see fit. So, the first thing I need to do is add a data field. So, I go to this Add Data Fields tab, click on that, and then click on New Field. It asks me to give the field a name, which will be the actual name it has in the database. I'm going to call this Before Date. Okay, now it wants to know what I want to use as a label, the display name on the screen or form, and I will call this Do Not Ship Before. It's going to allow me to indicate a date that we do not want to ship until that date or later. And then it wants to know what type of field it is, and this is where we have options for us. Character or string field, integers, boolean, which is yes, no, decimals, date time, that sort of thing. I'm going to choose date time, click OK. OK. At this point, I can go ahead and publish this. I will choose from the menu, Publish Current Project. And I'll get this message window saying or validating everything. And that finished successfully. And then it's updating the cable, the database, and really the website. And we'll say that's been updated. Once this happens, I can close this window. And at this point, the new field that I've added will be visible to me under the Custom tab. This will list any new fields added to a given screen, and it just has this one I've just added. So, I'm going to check this, select this one, and say I want to create a control. What this is really doing is adding the field to the form. The first step added it to the database. This step adds it to the form and positions it so I'm going to say create control and you see that it's added to this list here. And if I wanted to, I could have moved this around and positioned it right where I wanted it. But it puts it at the bottom which is where I wanted it. I'm going to do one other minor thing here. Click on the column itself, the column of data, go to its properties tab and change the labels from S for small to M for medium. This is because my label in the field is a little bit wider and I want to make sure there's enough space there to contain that. Once I've done that, I can save these changes. And to show you here where this resides and where you can access this type of customization within Acumatica, I'm going to close this window and go over to System, Customization, and then Manage Customization Projects. This is where you'll see all of your customizations applied to any screen in the system. This one was the Sales Order screen, and here's my Date project that contains that additional field I added. All I need to do here is check this box and publish it. But you'll note here you can publish, 
unpublish, export, import, you have full control over these customizations, how you apply them or unapply them, and this is why these customizations will also upgrade with future upgrades of Vacumatica, because they're contained in a separate package that gets supplied to the Acumatica program itself. So here I'm going to go ahead and publish this. This similar validation process will go through and ask me one more time if I want to publish this. I will say yes. It will say it's been updated. At this point, I can close the window. I can move to that screen itself, Distribution, Sales Order, and open the Sales Order screen. It'll take a few seconds here to refresh. But once it does, you'll notice I have a Do Not Ship Before field added that I can populate with any of my sales orders as I'm continuing to process. And that field, as we've updated it to the database, is available on Reports, it's available on queries, searches, it becomes part of the system going forward. So, this gives you tremendous power, it gives you tremendous flexibility to tweak the system to make the system meet your specific needs. Finally, it should be noted that when you do make these changes, the users should be out of the system. They'll have to log out and log in to see the new changes. So you really want them out of the system when you're making these changes or it'll log them out before they're able to see the changes themselves. I hope you got all that. Thank you very much for watching this very short demo about how easy it is to add custom fields to Acumatica.